Hello, and welcome to part 8 of 403 Forbidden's video tutorial on Auto IT scripting. In this tutorial, I'm just going to go over a really quick script that I made, just to explain some other functions and stuff that we haven't gone over yet. I'm going to run it real quick to show you how it works. When I hit the arrow keys on my keyboard, the cursor moves where whichever way I hit the arrow keys. If I hit up, it goes up. To the right, it goes to the right. Down, it goes down. Left, it goes to the left. If you hold it, it will just go at a fairly smooth rate. It's very useful when I'm doing any kind of very precision drawing on the computer, because it only moves in one direction and nowhere else. Let me show you how this works. It all starts with the function hotkey set. What this does is it takes a certain key on the keyboard, in this case the up key, and runs a function. In this case, they're my own functions. The, this function, when the up key is hit, the function being up. When I hit the right key, the function will be right. Down, down, left, left. After that finishes, it sleeps forever. What I forgot to mention this in some of the previous tutorials. The sleep function is very useful. It simply tells Auto IT, or it simply tells the script to just not do anything, just to sit there for the specified number of milliseconds. 1,000 milliseconds equaling one second. So this right here, sleep 1,000, will just have the script do nothing for one second. And then I have that inside an infinite while loop. It says while one equals one, sleep for one second. W end. One will always equal one unless I see, unless I go here and make it two. So therefore, it is infinite. You can also just say while one, but I think it's easier to have while one equals one. It just makes a little bit more sense. So, when that finishes, we set all of the functions, the down, right, left, and up functions. What this does is it gets the position of the mouse. To do this, you use the function mouse get position. If you look in the help file, it says retrieves the current position of the mouse cursor. Parameter is the dimension, which is an optional argument that determines what the return value will be. See return value. In the return value, normally it's, it will just return a two element array containing the mouse coordinates. Array zero equals the X position coordinate, which is horizontal. Array one equaling the Y coordinate, which is vertical. So, what this will do is get the position of the cursor and store it in a variable called $POS and then the array index of it. So $position equals mouse get position. And then what it does is it moves the mouse. Again, if you look in the help file, it says moves the mouse pointer. The screen X coordinate to move the mouse to and the screen Y coordinate to move the mouse to, and then an optional speed value. One is fastest, 100 is slowest. So what I do is I run, first I run the mouse get position command, and then I run the mouse move command or function. The first parameter being, let's see, I think it was the X coordinate, wasn't it? Yes, the X coordinate, which is the position that we retrieved earlier with the index being zero. And then the Y coordinate being the position we got earlier with the one index plus one. And then the speed being one, which is fastest. That, if you add one to the Y coordinate, it will move down one pixel. For the right, we do position zero, the X, um, the X coordinate plus one. To move left, we move the X coordinate minus one. And for up, we move the Y coordinate minus one. That's a mouthful. So, as you can see, when a hotkey is pushed, even if the script is sitting doing something in the middle of a command, such as the sleep command, it will still execute any commands that we have set when a hotkey is pushed. This has many different kinds of uses, such as when you push the escape button, it simply exits the script or when you hit a certain other button, it does another thing. Thank you for watching this tutorial by 403 Forbidden. I will see you in the next tutorial.